So like the first thing I notice immediately, uh, may I call you Roma? Yes. Roma is that like there's basically the sound just dies. Like as soon as you say something, it just drops off and you hear nothing afterwards, yes. right? As you can see, uh, ceilings, walls, and the floor is covered by mineral wool wedges, which are dedicated to absorb sound reflections. So in this room, you have no, no reflections. That's why we have this specific dry acoustics. Wow, that's amazing. So in a traditional minute repeater, you basically have a gong, a metal gong that's attached to the main plate. The main plate is then attached to a casing ring, and the casing ring is then attached to the case. And so in order for sound to escape through this and, and hit your ear, it's got to go through all these different levels. Whereas for you, you've basically made um, a, a sapphire crystal for the front of the watch that incorporates also sapphire crystal gongs. And so when these are struck by the hammer, sound passes directly from the sapphire crystal towards the user. Is that right? Exactly yeah. is that, yeah. That's, That's amazing. Right. Yeah. I think I will have a lot of advantage with this kind of technology. Yes, you have a continuity of matter. There's no reflections, distortion at the mechanical interface between all the parts. Okay. Because you, you have the, the, the glass and the gong are directly connected. There's a physical relationship which is very direct. And the sound produced is more louder and also uh, the decay is more pleasant. Oh, wow, amazing. That. And let, let's talk about your testing setup here a little bit, right? Because and what I really admire about what you've done, Lomaz, is you, you've been, done something to replicate like what the watch sounds like on the human arm, right, yes. right on the wrist. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, Francisco, you were telling me earlier that if you take a minute repeater off and you put it on the table, it's gonna sound super good, right? Because you're getting a lot of reflection and so on. Uh, but if you put it on that same watch on someone's wrist, because the human skin and body has a tendency to absorb sound, you're gonna get a very different experience. So what you guys were very impressed was with the with the sapphire crystal technology you came up with, it was the same whether you took it off and put it on the table and, and the same when you had it on the wrist. And you've constructed this, um, Romain, mm -hmm. using a material that actually kind of replicates like, human skin. Yes, to provide more realistic condition and to best mimic the contact between the skin and the watch case, we used uh, this uh, three millimeter layer of um, viscoelastic polymer in order to best mimic this contact. And uh, it's very important because we, we with uh, this kind of uh, sapphire gang, the, um, there's no attenuation actually between uh, the, the, this material and, and the watch sounds. Right. It's very direct. In our measurements, you have found that sometimes you lose 30 or 40 percent of the energy of the, the, the sound wow. with the skin. Right. And with no technology, we don't have a difference. It's a very good result. Okay, so Francisco, we've got all the elements here for a scientific experiment. You know, we've got you, the head of uh, technology for, or for Chopar R&D. We've got the watch here, the sapphire uh, crystal gong in a sapphire case. And we've got the brilliant Dr. Roma as well. Um, why don't we test this watch out? Show, show us how you do it. Good idea, <laughs> go. <laughs> Very cool. So let's talk a little bit about when you measure the, the, the sound of the sapphire uh, gong full strike. What did you see immediately in terms of results in comparison to a metal gong watch? Um, so first, it's three times louder. Wow. This is explained because the, the transfer path between the, the shock of the hammer on the gong is direct to the glass. Okay. So it is not attenuated because the matter is con continuity of matter and there's no attenuation, no change of medium between the vibration from the gong to the ear. Amazing. Can you give me um, a relative to dB, like what the, the, the level of sound is for? It's about between 10 and 15 decibel more. Okay. Oh, wow, okay, that's it's so very, very significant. Yeah. Okay, um, and then tell me a little bit about like the quality of the sound and the duration of the sound as well. So, uh, it is louder, but we also, um, we have shown that it is also more um, brilliant. That's fine. And Romain, we were talking about before that that brightness has complete autonomy from the material of the case, correct? Yeah. So it will sound consistently bright no matter what kind of metal you use. Right? Yeah. That's brilliant. And then how about the, for the duration of the sound? Uh, the duration is also much longer because there's no attenuation between the... 
with a steel gong, it's more complex. The transfer pass is more complex. Each change of material is, um, is with uh, uh, attenuation and uh, modification of the vibrations. Ah. So we lose energy. So here's a typical waveform of a uh, sapphire gong we have recorded in this room. Here is the spectrogram, which is a visual representation of the frequency spectrum as it varies with time. We have here a color that represents the amplitude and um, the, the lines, the colored lines uh, on the screen represent the, um, uh, the, the energy of partials that made the sound. Um, so, um, I can show you now in comparison the, the, the recordings we did with uh, um, a steel gong. Please. So we can see that there's difference in terms of amplitude, duration, and also frequency content. Roman, thank you so much for giving us empirical proof um, that, in fact, the Chopar LUC Full Strike with the Sapphire Gongs is the most advanced and best sounding minute repeater on the market. Really appreciate it, and, uh, and wishing you a great day, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>